Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. I want to address the elephant in the room, and this is regarding the situation that started a few months ago and then was updated earlier this month. Today, we're going to go over how this podcast is going to proceed in the light of the U.S. film industry strikes of 2023. Let's talk for a minute. Let's open with a little bit of history. The last time SAG went on strike was 2000. The last time the WGA went on strike was 2007. The last time that we had a double strike where both of these unions went on strike at the same time was 1960. And just to give you kind of another weird piece of history, at that time in 1960, you know who was at the helm of the Screen Actors Guild? Oh, just, you know, a little known actor by the name of Ronald Reagan. I swear we live in weird times. For one of the strikes, we're talking about the WGA West and WGA East that is in conflict with the AMPTP. Now let's break down those acronyms for a moment. WGA West and WGA East, the Writers Guild of America West, the Writers Guild of America East, and they are in conflict with the Alliance of Motion, Picture, and Television Producers. The other strike we're talking about is SAG-AFTRA, and them taking issue also with the AMPTP. SAG-AFTRA is the Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. An important thing to note is that unions like the Actors Union, like the Writing Union, they have to renew their contracts every few years, and the organization that they renew it with is the AMPTP. They are the group that represent over 350 American film and TV production companies. And here is a bit of timeline information for the strikes that are happening right now. The Writers Guild of America West, along with Writers Guild of America East, the strike between them and the AMPTP, that started on May 2nd of 2023, and it's still ongoing right now. And what changed was on July 14th, 2023, the conflicts between SAG and the AMPTP finally boiled over and SAG went on strike. So this is where we're at now. And there are many issues that these organizations are conflicting over, from use of AI to writer's rooms to pay to healthcare. There's a lot of different issues. I don't know all of them myself. I'm still educating myself on it. What I would recommend is I would direct you to the websites of these organizations. For SAG-AFTRA, it's sagaftra.org. For the WGA West, it's wga.org. For WGA East, it's wgaeast.org. And then for the AMPTP, it's AMPTP. TP.org. Although with their website, there isn't really a lot of information there. I wish they would actually put more info. So if they want to be able to have a stance and present their position, they do have a section for press releases, but that's pretty much about it. It's kind of a shabby website. Come on, guys. Now, there are two really important points that I want to communicate with this episode. One is that until the WGA and SAG after strikes with the AMPTP end, I will not be posting anything, trailers, articles, reviews, even podcast episodes that discuss or involve any work produced and or distributed by any of the struck companies. Part of that membership list includes Netflix, Amazon slash MGM, Apple slash Apple TV Plus, Warner Brothers Discovery slash HBO slash Max, Disney slash Disney Plus slash ABC slash Hulu. Comcast slash NBC slash Universal slash Peacock, Paramount slash CBS slash Paramount Plus, Sony, Lionsgate, and any other member of the AMPTP. I am not a member of SAG-AFTRA. I am not a member of either branch of WGA, but this is a direction that the podcast will be going in for the time being. Any content that you see here will be discussing things, yes, that do relate to entertainment, the film industry, entertainment industry, but we will not be discussing any works past, present, or upcoming by any of the struck companies. One little note there, though, there are independent film production and distribution companies that release films in the United States that are not members of the AMPTP, and I do believe that talking about those particular movies do not violate the terms of SAG and of the WGA. Companies like A24, Bleecker Street, Neon, these are just three examples that are not members of the AMPTP. Now, I know some people listening to this say, oh, but you know what? Again, you're not a union member. Why are you worrying about this? Why are you making this complicated? You know what? I'm not trying to make this complicated. In fact, I think this is the simpler approach to take. Just respect what's going on right now and do not talk about work by struck companies. That is considered scabbing. I didn't realize there was actually a term for that. It's scabbing and I am not going to be doing that. 
And then that second point that I want to communicate today. This one's really important. I don't want to pretend for a second that I'm unbiased, that I'm apathetic. So when I hear people say, and I've been reading this and seeing this, and it just pisses me off, they're saying, why are these wealthy people in Hollywood arguing and being entitled and just trying to get more money? When I hear that, I can pretty much sum up my reaction to that with one word. Stupid. Unequivocally, absolutely stupid. You have a union of actors, for example. Let's go with SAG. 160,000 members. Of those 160,000 members, a little over 1% are the ones that we think of like the Brad Pitts, the Julia Roberts. I know I'm dating myself a bit here, but again, wealthy celebrities, right? But most of them, most of the actors are the ones who are working many different jobs. They're trying to make ends meet. They can barely meet the, I believe it's $30,000 requirement for their health coverage from the union. So do us all a favor, don't assume. You know what they say when we assume. Yes, there's going to be a change of content for a period of time. Yes, there are going to be extensive delays in film and TV programming. But I know that all of us love and appreciate all the amazing people who put all that amazing talent, all that blood, sweat, and tears to telling all of these amazing stories and making all of that possible. I know that's a big hell yes, too. Thank you for listening.